Welcome to our show, everyone. We have a very lively audience, don't we, Joey? Yes, we do, Martha. And you have prepped them, prepped them beyond all. They've been super prepped. They love you. They want to cook. They want to <laughs> craft. They want to do everything with you, Martha. Well, there's a real buzz in the air. Can you hear it? Mm, I, I think so. The studio's <laughs> buzzing. My Blackberry has been buzzing. I get a little ping, ping, like every five minutes. The internet's buzzing, and it's all because of my daughter, Alexis, she's at it again. <laughs> Whatever land, learning to live here. You'd think that now that she's a mom, she's grown up, that she would have sort of figured it out. Well, she hasn't. And she and Jennifer Koppelman Hutt, her radio uh, partner on Whatever, um, they have written a book. Sean, <laughs> and how, how, many, how many Google alerts have I gotten well, in the last couple days? I think you've received loads. If you type in, um, actually right now, into Google, Martha Stewart News, this is the top result in the news section. Oh, yeah. Super exciting. Thousands um, of them. Well, I yeah. got an advanced copy, and I actually read the book, oh, maybe about a month or a month and a half ago, and I didn't know that it was even coming. I'd heard about a book, but I never knew. It's all about growing up, and, it, and fabulous pictures, by the way. And it is hilarious, and it is enlightening, and it's full of funny stories. It's not an autobiography. Let's get that straight right now. <laughs> uh, it touches on everything, food, fashion, cleaning, organizing, and me. It's irreverent, and it's lots of fun. Uh, remember that whatever show that those girls have, have on TV, they that was my idea. You know, making fun of good things is a good idea. Well, Alexis, I called her this morning. I said, what's the funniest part of the book? Uh, she had given these answers. She sat for an interview to um, Us Weekly, and uh, they chose not to print her answers for some reason. So the one question, like, um, the refrigerator was always empty. There was never anything to eat at my house. Other people had food. I had no food. <laughs> there were ingredients, but no prepared food of any kind. Her answer? And that is how my house is today. <laughs> Turned out to be a good thing. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you wanted to eat when, we, when she was growing up, you had to cook something. That was the whole idea. She is a superb cook. Um, let's see. Martha does everything better. You can't win, says Alexis. If I didn't do something perfectly, I had to do it again. I grew up with a glue gun pointed at my head. <laughs> and uh, Alexis's answer, obviously, what I say in this book is an exaggeration of the truth. I am not sure there were even glue guns when I was a kid. And she's right, there were not any glue guns. <laughs> she was 20-something when I first started working with glue guns and making my Christmas book. Um, and, uh, and she says, actually, and this is good, I definitely prefer having a mother that is good at things than the alternative. Now, the best thing of all is Halloween. Halloween, she wrote, there were no costumes. There was no anything. We turned off all the lights and pretended we were at home. <laughs> 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 and so she, her answer is, okay, I left out the years when my mother made me costumes on the sewing machine or let me wear all of my grandmother's fabulous costume jewelry when I was very young and was a gypsy for Halloween. It was kind of fun pretending no one was at home. No one else did that or would admit that they did it, and I still do it till this day. <laughs> So I have, I must have, I must have uh, instilled in her some um, actually good habits. Um, she's tall, beautiful, gorgeous, and the mother of baby Jude, and that's all that counts. The book is out late October wherever books are sold, and I encourage you to buy it, uh, read it, and make it a bestseller. So. <laughs>